Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Stranger Things commentary track series here on the... I'm just kidding. I wanted to see if I could get you. Did that I get really you? threw me off. I got I you. Know if you could see it in my eyes. <laughs> we are an unusual couple, you know. So for those of you who are like, what did he just do? This is how we sit when we film the commentary tracks on my Patreon. On my and we've been doing them frequently, so we're not moving the set back for this episode of the podcast. Yeah, normally the <laughs> chairs are just like in the back of my room. Although if you remember when we started the podcast back after our extremely long hiatus. I was wearing this shirt and we were sitting right here. Oh, that's creepy. Yes. Um, And speaking of hiatus, yes, it's been two weeks since we've posted a podcast. But Chris is out of town. We just, Not just out of town, across the country. Yeah, same diff. You still were not in the general vicinity of filming a podcast. I guess so. We were just, he was out of town. We were just busy. And like, I don't know, things happen. Life gets away from you. Yeah, we were on a really good run and we took, a, I think, two weeks off. Yeah. We're back though. It's not like we took two weeks off though. We just were busy. Like we had stuff we had to do. I wasn't here. You weren't here. Yeah. And, you know, it just happens. But it's April 2nd. It's going yes. up April 3rd. It's not the end of the world. It is, is it April? Yes. Are we still going to do brackets inspired by March Madness? Yes. Well, March Madness is still going on. Oh, shit, you're right. Yeah, the final four is Saturday. See, so. I stopped caring because UNC screwed me over. If you're from North Carolina, I'm mad at you. Well, you could be a fan of Duke or NC State. NC State's still in the final four. Shit, no way. Yeah, they made it all the way to the final four. Well, I didn't pick them, so I don't care. If you're from Raleigh, if you went to North Carolina State. Actually, no. more... Wait, wait, no, Chapel Hill, excuse me. Raleigh's North Carolina State. Actually, more if you're from Alabama, I'm mad at you. Yeah, easy. How could you not be mad at them? Anyway. How dare you live in Alabama? <laughs> um, what we did today. How did our pens get switched? I switched them so that we could fill them out with what they were written with originally, but we can do that. I switched the brackets. Oh, I was just going to write for your bracket and you were going to write oh, for mine. Oh, okay, cool. We'll switch them around when the time comes in. Is this your, my bracket in front of me then? Uh, Yeah. Well, shit. I switched the brackets because I figured my... we would just do it. No, 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 no. I'm okay. going to read it to you. Okay. Well, here's the deal. We... Each filled out brackets with yeah. 32 teams or movies for the other person. And they're going to go through and pick to the end. It's based on favorite movies. Yes. Not best. I'm about to sneeze. Oh. <laughs> you could have kept talking. I'm sorry. I, I wasn't talking in the first place. Okay. <laughs> well, you could have picked up. It's okay. Fine. So we're, do, it's, <laughs> we're not doing 64. We're doing 32 because 64 is just a lot, even though... I easily could have come up with 64 movies for you, probably. I could have as well. It was hard to actually cut some out. Yeah. Um, but we're just going to do it based on favorites. And I, there's some interesting matchups in here, for sure. Quite. Quite. Uh, <laughs> who wants to start is the real question. Um, Before we start, actually, if you do like this style more than the style with the mic stands, let us know. Because I want to get your honest opinion. I want to, like, if you're a, view, a constant viewer of the podcast, do you like it better when we have handheld or when we have the mic stands i just well, want to get your opinion i just want to get their opinion i just want to get their opinion go ahead give your opinion but for me personally no offense it's about what makes like am i more comfortable holding a mic the whole time or not the whole reason we got mic stands in the first place is because after like three or four podcast episodes sitting here you got sick and tired of holding a microphone okay well i'm so. used to it now <laughs> okay well if we what if we put the mic arms here? I just like sitting here better. It's way better in my opinion. But teach their okay, own. Okay, we'll move the podcast back to here. Damn. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. But no, if you like this, regardless, and you want to watch movies and shows with us, Film Stocked, my Patreon is the way to go, because we've dropped all of season one and two for Stranger Things and four or five episodes of Stranger Things season three. As of you guys watching this, so we're grinding right through it. Yeah, it's been fun. But without further ado, let's get down to business. This is our. Movie bracket for I March think you're Madness. Gonna go first. I'm gonna go first. Yeah, so I'm gonna read movies to you. And I pick. Yes. Okay. This is Chris's bracket that I made. Am I allowed for to look him. down or no? You can. I don't but want to look at. You'll yeah. look ahead on just, accident. Yeah, I don't want to get spoiled. So, so your first matchup. Okay. Oppenheimer. Yes. Versus Mission Impossible Fallout. Oppenheimer. <laughs> that was interesting. I didn't think Fallout would make the cut. That's dope though. It did. Great. That's a great action film. Best of that series, but Oppenheimer, it's... Ooh. Most of mm. these movies are like movies you've given a 5 out of 5 on Letterboxd, pretty much. And, and the way I look at that, too, is I can watch some other Banger Mission Impossible films. Oppenheimer, though. Well, you're not throwing unique. it away and never watching it ever. I know. I'm just saying if I'm comparing the two. Give me Oppenheimer. 
All right. Your next matchup okay. is Inception yeah. versus Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. Ooh. I didn't know which one you're going to say. If you were going to say Return or Fellowship for a second, you got me. But um, honestly, as mm, see, you know what? I love Inception. I know you do. Great ending. The score by Hans Zimmer. Time in particular, Elite. But there's something about the long legs yeah. of Fellowship in the minds of Moria. I'm going with Fellowship <gasps> and an upset. That's an upset. An upset because uh, it's it's honestly, I've come to the point, the maturity level, I I, I think that's my favorite Lord of the Rings wow. movie. Yeah, I, I mean, you've got it. Boromir, everything you could love about Lord of the Rings. It sets sexy, up sexy, sexy Aragorn. Yeah, that's all that matters, Strider. right? You've got the Shire. You see everything before the downfall. The least amount of Gollum. He's insufferable at times. Oh, I fuck Gollum. Yeah. So I would say Fellowship. I'm a Fellowship guy. Me and Elijah. I love Wood. that. I love that. Give me Fellowship. Yeah. All right. Upset alert. <laughs> Your next matchup is No Way Home. Okay. Versus The Lion King. Um, come on, I gotta go with The Lion King. I love Spider-Man No Way Home, but The Lion King is childhood, it's nostalgia, it is a movie I could watch, and it will remind me to overcome adversity, fight through whatever. Demons I'm battling. How sweet. And, uh, what's the quote? Am I allowed to talk about these movies? Oh, yeah. I don't want this to zoom through. No, talk, 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 talk. um, The quote is, it's Rafiki. It's when he hits Simba on the head. Ah, yes, the way I see it, the past can hurt. But you can either run from it or learn from it. I like how you went a little Irish there. That was good. I was trying to do... <laughs> you can either run from it or learn, <laughs> or learn from it. <laughs> Whatever that was, yeah. <laughs> I can't do an Irish accent. All right, you ready for the next one? I'm ready. Your I'm trying matchup. not to look over. Cause... I know, I know, it's hard. Yeah. Your next matchup is okay. Guardians of the Galaxy Okay. versus Silver Linings Playbook. A Bradley Cooper matchup, if you will. Yeah. Um... I know these are two very different movies. You can take your time. Vastly different movies. So the thing about Silver Linings is it's one of those like feel good watches. Mm -hmm. But Guardians is a top tier MCU movie and it's I think a hair more rewatchable. But then I do I look, I go, Guardians Three is also out there and I love that one. Maybe more than Guardians one some days. I would say this is really difficult for me. Ah, uh, right now I'm gonna lean Guardians. Right now. Wow. Okay. I do love Silver Linings Playbook. I'm gonna write I it. I love Silver Linings Playbook. Five out of five, both of them. But Guardians, one right now, I would say I prefer. Okay. Yeah. In the heat of the moment. This next one is an eight to nine matchup. Okay. So I'm very curious matched. to see what you're gonna pick. Okay. Ocean's Eleven. Yeah. Versus, Tick Tick Boom. Interesting. <laughs> okay. The whole thing about these being air quote evilly matched, I'm 90% positive everything on this list you have given a five out of five on Letterboxd. Or four and a half. Did I list something that you gave a four and a half to? I think I gave four and a half to Ocean's Eleven, but it doesn't matter. It's like a, oh, it's, it doesn't matter. Diff. You know what I mean? Same diff, it's yeah. Sa- it's basically the same thing. They either have a five out of um, five or they have a heart next to it. Yeah, that's valid. I would say, I honestly, like, it's like a head pick versus heart pick. You know what I'm saying? They're singing happy <laughs> birthday. Tick, tick, boom. Great music. I listen to the soundtrack a lot. Oscar snubbed. I don't, I don't, he was snubbed. Andrew Garfield was. I don't find myself going back to that movie as much. Ocean's Eleven, all, almost on my mind weekly. Like anytime I'm with my buddies, I bring up Ocean's Eleven. Keep Brad talking. Pitt is cool as shit camera. in that movie. You've got Clooney, Damon. I mean, it is a stacked cast. I think... As much as I would love to sit here and pick Tick, Tick, Boom, there are other musicals I think I, I prefer. Really? Really. Okay. You knew this. Okay. Right now, Ocean's Eleven. Okay. Movie kicks ass. And I want to watch Ocean's Twelve soon. I've seen all of them many times. But Ocean's Twelve, the uh, la- the dance of the lasers. That's technically so not an upset because I had Oceans at eight and Tick, oh, Tick at nine. Okay. So, word. For those who are like, what are you talking about seeds? We didn't mention this. Each side is like one through 16, but technically... Like, so... Oppenheimer versus Fallout was a one seed. Oppenheimer versus like a 16 Mission Impossible Fallout. Valid. But also take it with a grain of salt because we love all the movies. Yeah. It's, it's just like, for fun. It's yeah. It's not actually like, you know, the underdog these is are upsetting all, Virginia and the NCAA tournament. This isn't, you know, what, what team was it? Yeah. These are all movies that we would watch in an instant. Yeah. 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 
All right, you ready for your next matchup? I'm ready. I think you might. I don't know. You either might. You either will struggle with this one, or you'll be able to answer it instantly. We shall see. Remember the Titans. I almost just answered before you even said <laughs> the next movie. Versus Star Wars. Okay. <laughs> the original Star Wars. Yep. <laughs> Believe it or not, I don't even think this is like the hardest matchup on your. <sighs> Damn you to hell. The um... interesting thing about yours is that like. <laughs> I said this off camera and I'll say it on camera while you think you can think. Um, Chris's bracket is like they're all movies that are his favorite movies. But I feel like his favorite movies also tend to be very either like critically sort of acclaimed or like fandom acclaimed. Like so Star Wars, like the original Star Wars. My favorite movies are like Footloose 2011. Pitch perfect. <laughs> so like half of my movies, favorite movies are like critically acclaimed, if you will. And then the other half are just like my favorite silly little movies like Step Up and Center Stage and whatnot. So like Chris's matchups are so interesting because it's like the craziest movie ever. Just two different, two very different categories and genres. But like they're such good movies, both of them. So this is extremely difficult and for those who don't know star wars is the movie that made me fall in love with movies it's the movie You're a little star wars baby it's, boy i am the original trilogy and the prequels growing up i had the toys i had them on vhs and dvd i would pause the movies and set up the toys to reenact fight scenes i was in love and <gasps> i still love your, star wars you as a child but i really really adore remember the titans and i find myself with age going back to that movie more quoting that movie more mm -hmm. it's more applicable to my daily life star wars always always will have a special 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 place in my heart that's you know the first movie interesting about this matchup actually what i think star wars is the first movie we watched together like at your house like you invited me over and we watched we put star wars on and i th remember the titans is the first movie you ever showed me i think we actually watched return of the jedi after we watched remember the titans and then return of the jedi really yep and then when we were dating I know that was before we, we were had dating. our you know first that, right? kiss during Star Wars. Yeah, we did. <laughs> T TMI. No, it's not. It's a precious little story. <laughs> All right, and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> we can go. Why do you hate our relationship? No, it's fine. I do. I do not hate our relationship, but it just like makes me uncomfy. It's because you're a boy. Yeah, it does. I guess that's why. But yeah, remember the Titans is the first movie you ever showed me. Um, that is correct. With your little teeny tiny baby Blu-ray collection. My tiny Blu-ray collection. I would say, gun to my head. Remember the Titans. Wow. Yeah. I agree. I'm, it's just, it's a movie that I, like Star Wars had its run. Like, I'm not saying I'm done with Star Wars, but I'm saying well, yeah. Star Wars had its time in my life for however long. And I, I'm going to rewatch the original trilogy this May. I'm stoked. But there's undeniably mm -hmm. a level of maybe sourness associated with mm -hmm. Star Wars as a whole because of the bullshit we've gotten and the toxicity. And I'm not saying that ruined Star Wars. Nothing can taint those original movies well, for me. Thing, it's just the conversation surrounding it has shifted with age for me. That's totally valid. And the thing is with this specific matchup is like, obviously you're not throwing away the other movie and you can never watch it again. No, but yeah. like, if that was the case, there's a bunch of other Star Wars movies you can yeah, watch that can exactly. give you the fix that you would be searching for in terms of yes. the first Star Wars. You yes. Know? Even though I do think the first Star Wars is like the definitive blockbuster yes. of it's our time. It's your favorite of the it's my Star Wars it's one of my It's one of my top 10 favorite movies of all time. I know it is. So. All right. Remember the Titans. Left side. Strong side. This next matchup. Easy for you, I think. Difficult for me. Ooh. If I was doing it. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Okay. The Hunger Games. Raiders. I was really <laughs> mad. I was so mad that that's where Hunger Games fell in the in the bracket. It pissed yeah, me off. Raiders. Uh, no disrespect to Hunger Games, but Raiders might make a run here. <laughs> <laughs> it's your favorite on Letterboxd, right? It's your number one movie? Yeah. All right. It's next. not the years, honey. It's the mileage. This is your last matchup on the left side of the okay. bracket. La La Land okay. versus Ratatouille. <laughs> okay. I... I really do appreciate the fact that I'm that I've like loved the movies for so long because yeah. I remember we saw La La Land in theaters in 2016, yeah, which is almost 10 years ago. <gasps> Shut the fuck <laughs> up! Why would you say I'm that? Sorry, I had to say it out loud. I know, but it's eight years in December. Yeah, <laughs> I think you just did. You just realize how old you were. I just realized how long we've been dating. Yeah, that's even scarier. That's uh, here's the deal, folks. 
I don't find myself going back to either movie. I don't think that's necessarily the bar for if you love a movie more or not. No. But it is valid to use that. Yeah. La La Land soundtrack, elite. Um, it's a beautiful movie. I shine just for me. And I love it, truly. Ryan but Gosling. I, yeah, and like we sing, we sing it in the car all the time. We quote it all the time. It's, you know, people love what other people are passionate about. That's a great quote from that movie. I adore La La Land. I do. But? But give me <gasps> Remy the Ratatouille, <laughs> the rat of all my dreams. Ratatouille. Ratatouille, ladies and gentlemen. It is. Ratatouille, it's, it's an anomaly for me because it's a movie I probably visit every few years uh-huh. and it makes it all the more special. Anyone can Anyone cook. Anyone can cook. It inspires the ever-living shit out of me. I love I love that movie. Ratatouille for the for the win. Maybe an upset? Uh, Yeah, it was an upset. Upset over La La Land. All right, this next <laughs> matchup. We're on the other side of the bracket? Yeah, other side of oh, the bracket. Yeah, brother. This next matchup was is the matchup that I was talking, like that I'm mainly talking about when I say it's so interesting because your favorite movies are like you know good movies but like yeah the genres are so different yeah. so your next matchup is whiplash mm-hmm. versus home alone shit <laughs> i, I just like, did a dominic monahan <laughs> shit <laughs> i was like that what a crazy matchup <laughs> oh my god like what an I insane always forget when people ask me what my favorite movies are for some weird reason i talked about this with trevor when i was with mm-hmm. him last week holiday season movies are like they're stowed away in like a, a, a vault for like mm-hmm. 11 months of the year. And so I never think to pull those out when I'm talking about my favorite movies. Home Alone. It's one of your favorite home alone. movies. It's Home Alone. I don't have to think about it. Over it's Home Alone. Whiplash? Home Alone. You know how much I love the movie. Wow. I love Home Alone That's so an much. And I, I adore Whiplash. I legit was talking about yesterday, raving about how much how great that ending is. I quote it. It's a fantastic movie. But Home Alone is a movie to me that is Christmas. If you just I go upset the year, number one seed of your bracket. <laughs> It happens. It happens. That's crazy. Uh, look, Whip Whiplash. I I could watch any day of the week. Yeah, I could do the same with Home Alone. John Williams score. The end. I mean, the heart in that film. It is the holiday season. I have so many fond memories of watching Home Alone, even in the summer. I had a portable DVD player. I would go on road trips to like my grandpa's house, and I would have Home Alone on. Fair. In the summer. I know every Christmas you get closer and closer to buying the Home Alone Lego set. Every, uh, this might be the year. I know it is. This I could like be the year. Is. Especially I, if we have an apartment by then. Ooh, I, I, it's got to be Home Alone. I mean, I quote, I it, it's it Christmas. In, so. It's Christmas. Christmas could not happen without Christmas Home Alone. Christmas time is here. Are you ready for the next matchup? I'm ready for the next matchup. This one's probably going to be easy for you. Okay. The Social Network versus Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. Ah, uh, see, I already picked one of my one of the Lord of the Rings movies yeah, and I came to the realization that I prefer it on this. Mm-hmm. So I'm going Social Network, and also that is the, like the fastest paced two hour movie in existence. Oh, 100 so percent. That's easy for me. But I love the Return of the King. It won all the Oscars for a reason. But it also won all those Oscars because it was like we're gonna award the trilogy mm-hmm. with this movie, The Social Network. I we, re, truly will never shut up about. I agree. I quote it all the time. I all agree. the time. It's Social Network. Yeah. Duh. All the time. We literally quoted it before this podcast on accident. Yeah. It's Next. Gotta be. Okay. <laughs> Again, another crazy ass genre matchup: The Dark Knight. All right. Versus Up. Interesting that you put Up on here. It was in your. You had gave it five stars and heart. Yeah. Yeah. So it was in your letterbox. So I put it up. Are there any other Pixar movies on this list? Because if not, that's an interesting one to pick. Because there's just um, a handful of others I prefer over Up. But up's still great. I think they were going to be until I decided to add Home Alone to the list. Okay. Um, I know I could have put Toy Story, but I didn't. I really love Up. It's super sweet. But The Dark Knight is one of the greatest compliments <laughs> ever. And that's not that's not even up for debate. Like, it genuinely changed the landscape of comic book movie making and Heath Ledger's Joker. I, I, it's like beating a dead horse. Everyone knows it's The Dark Knight. Yeah. yeah, I'd say this side of the bracket has been considerably easier for you. Oh, uh, so much. <laughs> Let's see if this next matchup is as easy for you. I'm waiting for one movie that if you didn't put on here, you don't know me. Avengers: Infinity War. Okay. Crazy Stupid Love. Ooh. What movie could I've? Oh, I mean, there might be. We'll talk. I genuinely think this is way harder than it should be like yeah, this I know. this we have the greatest plot twist i've ever seen 
Yeah. And honestly... Going up against the best MCU movie. <laughs> even if the, the plot twist didn't exist or whatever, like, it's still one of the greatest movies yeah. in terms of rom-coms. I think it sucks that I have to do this, but I have to pick Infinity War. <gasps> uh, like, Infinity War just means so much to me. It... You remember when we were in the theater watching it. It like that era of my life I will always cherish. And the movie itself is outstanding. It's the wow. it, it is truly mind blowing that the MCU pulled off making a movie with that many different group character groupings across the uh-huh. galaxy. Thanos won. It was it was monumental. I have to pick that, but Crazy Stupid Love is a winner. In the my book. two rom coms I put on your bracket lost in the first round. I'm sorry. If you consider Silver Linings Playbook a rom com. Yeah, I would. Slash drama. All right, you ready for your next one? Yes, please. This is an eight to nine matchup as well. Okay. I'm curious to see where you go with this. I am too. Your matchup is Top Gun Maverick okay. versus West Side Story 2021. <laughs> Do you want to know my rationale for why I'm picking Top Gun Maverick? No, I feel like I... Yeah, go ahead. Say the it. The 1960s but. version is also great. So there's two great West Side Stories in the world. I'm not saying that one's removed or not, but like... West Side Story, it, it transcends just being held down to the Spielberg movie. It's it's out there on Broadway, various iterations. Top Gun Maverick? Top Gun Maverick? <laughs> Two minutes, 15 seconds? I ain't worried about it right now. <laughs> that movie is a drug. <laughs> that movie's a drug. It's one of the best movies of the decade. I gotta go Top Gun Maverick. I adore West Side Story. You know I sing it all the time. I know you do. But Top Gun Maverick. Yeah. Next. Next. If you didn't put a movie on here, I'm screaming. How to Train Your Dragon. Okay. Versus Spider Man. Spider Man. Yeah, I love How to Train Your Dragon. Just watch it for the first time very, very recently. But um, Spider Man is my favorite Spider Man movie alongside No Way Home. If this and I quote the shit out of it. I I know you do. If this uh, next movie isn't the one you're talking Hold about, on. we're gonna have issues. MJ and I, we're gonna have a hell of a time. Me and my buddy Jacob Starcourt Food Court text each other quotes randomly all the time. Go ahead. I, I really, you better have put the movie on here or we are going to throw hands. I put 32 of what I think are your favorite movies on here. Back to the Future. Okay, we're good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Versus National Treasure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to say it's hard because I do defend the shit out of National Treasure. I know, we love Back National to the Treasure. Future. National Treasure is... is Again, it's childhood for me. I had the DVD where I like did the behind the scenes treasure cracking and everything, crack code. But Back to the Future is that movie. I'd argue it's the best movie ever made. I had this conversation the other day. Like, what's one movie that you could argue is the best movie ever made? And I would argue Back to the Future is up there. Very good. All right, this is your last matchup. Until okay. We go back into the ones we've already done. Okay. The Batman. The Batman. The Batman. The Batman verse. versus the Wolf of Wall Street. Um, that's difficult because they're both three hours. Yep. One of them is very rewatchable, The Wolf of Wall Street. Mm-hmm. The other not as rewatchable, but still damn good. Mm-hmm. Because you put The Dark Knight already <gasps> on there and ah, it's super tough for me. You know what? I've never compared these movies. I love The Wolf of Wall Street. I... Honestly, I, 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 Robert Pattinson. I do think I have to go the Batman. I do. Yeah. I love the Wolf of Wall Street though, but the Batman. I hope Twilight made it onto my bracket. Uh, we'll see. I'm shocked Moneyball wasn't on there. I've never seen Moneyball, so I didn't okay. think to put it fair, on there. Fair, fair. I've, I've, I haven't seen a handful of movies on yours. I've seen all of these movies. Oh, cool. I do believe. I'm shocked some made the list and some didn't, and that's totally fine. Yeah, I've seen all these movies because you've made me, you've now made me watch Whiplash, so I've officially seen all of them. Slade! Look at you. Look at me. I can look down now. (laughs) Yes, you can look down now. Look down, look down. That's probably on my bracket as well. No, it isn't. I forgot. (gasps) I literally forgot about it. How does that feel? (gasps) Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. All right. So going back, (laughs) Yeah. we now have Oppenheimer versus Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. Ah, uh, this is really, uh, this is really challenging for me, Cam. I know I, it is, like this is where it's gonna be like there's gonna be prolonged silences. It's okay, that's totally fine. Um, I think people I, will enjoy just watching you suffer to pick. I think one won best picture. One didn't somehow. All right. Well, I'm just saying. I'm just. We saying, don't trust I the know, Academy. I know, I know. 
right. Uh, oh, man, son of a bitch. I really love both with my whole heart. Mm-hmm. I think ju- I really and truly, I, I think I have to pick Oppenheimer. Yeah. I, it's genuinely consumed my mind. I haven't, I have not seen a movie maybe in my life in theaters that's consumed my mind for this long, except from like the big hitters like Infinity War and Endgame. I adore Oppenheimer. I think it it is an achievement, and I read the damn screenplay for Christ's sake. I know you did. He, it got you to read a book, so I'll give it that much. <laughs> that's all I'm saying, Oppenheimer. But uh, Lord of the Rings, I love you. Justice. Ready for the next one? Yeah. The Lion King. Okay. Versus Guardians of the Galaxy. Lion King. <laughs> oh, so Sorry, fast. Guardians. I love you, but you just barely squeak past Silver Linings, and That's if it makes true. you feel any better, Silver Linings, no, the Lion King would have beat you there too. Eh. So sorry. <laughs> All right, next is Ocean's Eleven. Yeah. Versus Remember the Titans. Remember the Titans. It gets easier the, when you get. Yeah. You know. uh, but no, I I think, yeah, no disrespect to Oceans, but that's no, a, I, I agree. That's, that's a dog. Yeah. Next, you have Raiders of the Lost Ark versus Ratatouille. Raiders. I already moved to it's Raiders. He- <laughs> Things are heating up now. We're going to have some matchups next. This one's going to be interesting. Okay. Home Alone versus The Social Network. Mm. <laughs> See, now I think the right side of the bracket's going to be harder because you've narrowed out, like, it was so much easy to pick on the right side, which is the second side for those yeah. that can't look at the paper. Yeah. Um, in the first round, because you're like, oh, easily, easily. But the thing is, now in the second round, you're going between movies that were your easy picks. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, yeah, I love that movie, mm-hmm. easily. This is the, this is really difficult for me. Because one movie I only watch in December, but one I watch multiple times a year. And so by default, I got to go Social Network, I think. Yeah, but, I agree. But, but Home Alone is, is in that conversation. Don't worry, um, your next matchup, I believe, is probably yeah. harder. The Social Network rules. It's so great. I think it's so funny that this is how this next matchup turned out. The Dark Knight versus Avengers Infinity War. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon, TikTok, when this makes that uh, <laughs> clip, if we ever do clips. Um, look, I'm going to say it's not really hard for me at all. Really? Yeah, that's crazy, right? It's Infinity War. Wow. Yeah, like people people think that's wild. This is my favorite list. I love The Dark Knight, um, but the I will never forget like the entire year leading up to Infinity War. I was like nauseous about it every day. It's how I feel about Stranger Things 5 right now. I remember the day that the the Infinity War trailer dropped in school in seventh period. I watched the the thing the whole class period. I dissected every frame. That's all I did. <laughs> Infinity War, You're ladies funny. and gents. Sorry. All right, your next matchup: Top Gun Maverick. Yeah. Versus Spider Man. <sighs> hmm. Mm. The itsy bitsy spider. Give me Spider Man. Does he sing that in the movie? Yeah. Okay. Spider Man. <laughs> I we're seeing that in theaters this month. Yeah. And Hell yeah to that. Weeks, question mark? Thirteen days. Okay. So yeah, pretty much two weeks. Your next and last Spidey. matchup: Back to the Future versus the Batman. Back to the Future. Sorry, it's the only way. All right, Oppenheimer versus the Lion King. This is where Oppenheimer's run stops. I Good, gotta go thank with the Lion God. King. The Lion King is a major part of my life, my childhood, and it's one of the great films I've seen. Period. Good. Next, Titans. Remember the Titans. Sorry, I wrote Titans just to make it shorter. Remember the Titans versus Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> um, you know, this is really a question, isn't it? Because. Again, I've watched both movies since before I was 10 years old. I watch both movies often. I watched Raiders three times last year. Mm-hmm. I quote Raiders a lot more than I even realize. Like, I'll quote it and I won't even realize I I'm quoting do. it. I was uh, somewhere the other day, maybe even with you, and I was just like, whiskey. Like, someone mentioned whiskey, and it's like, no one gets that if you haven't seen the movie. Raiders of the Lost Ark over Remember the Titans right now. Raiders of the Lost Ark is the pinnacle of adventure filmmaking. I think it's Spielberg's best work. As much as I do love Remember the Titans, obviously, 
I gotta give a slight edge to Raiders right that's now. That's totally fine. Those are two movies that are in your top four on Letterboxd. <laughs> exactly. It's so like, that's totally yeah. fine for you to struggle to pick that. Yeah. Next, we have The Social Network versus Avengers Infinity War. Come on. Infinity War? Drop the Avengers. <laughs> just The Social Network. It's a cleaner. Which one are you picking? The Social Network. I just said drop oh, the Avengers. I thought you were going to say drop the Avengers, just Infinity War. No, wow. I switched it up. Yeah. The that social network. Me. What do you? What do you? There's no competition there. That shocked me. You've been. You love Infinity War. I do, that but the social me. network is a better movie that I like okay, more. Okay, I didn't know that. I don't damn, watch Infinity damn, Wars often. Damn, relax. The social network. Yeah. Next, Spider Man versus Back to the Future. Back to the Future. Wow, Back to the Future is yeah. about to win the fuck out. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. You pick saying it anything. so easily. All right. <laughs> I'm... We're in our final four, everybody. <laughs> the Lion King versus Raiders of the Lost Ark. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, he says, "Yep." Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't want. I want to make it more interesting for you guys because I could answer the rest pretty fast right now. How I came, woke up, feeling today. How I feel. I'm actually making changes to my letterbox top four. That's how serious this is. Oh shit. Uh, to be fair, these two are also in your top four. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. Actually, is the social network in your top four? Yeah. You have three of your three of your final four are in your top four. Yeah. Something's getting booted, and it's one of these two movies. Shit. Shit. Raiders is taking. Raiders is headed to the title. All right, Raiders. Raiders is headed to the title. I adore The Lion King. I always will. It's a top five movie for me. P- top ten movie. How about that? That's fair. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Timeless adventure. I am, like, clamoring for a rewatch of the trilogy. Okay. Notice how I said trilogy? Yeah, I Maybe did. Skull if I'm feeling it, and that's uh-huh. it. We'll call it there. But Raiders, God, I love that movie. It's the, f- it's the adventure movie. Mm-hmm. And it's cool as shit. I agree. God, it's cool. All right. The Social Network. Yeah. Versus Back to the Future. <laughs> um, look. The Social Network is, to me, the best movie of the century so far. Okay. Right? From 2000 to today. Mm-hmm. Back to the Future. It, 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 I don't know what, what really took me so long to come around to realize this. How I don't shut up about the movie hardly, do I? Like, no. I literally... Actually, no, you don't. <laughs> All you do is quote Doc. I love Back to the Future. I always have. And for some reason, I just never had it. I was never like, oh, it's it's this, this, this. Uh, I would love to build up. I would love to build up to a dramatic title game. Go ahead and write Back to the Future twice in a row because it's taken the home, the, the cake for this bracket. Back to the Future, I think, is my favorite movie of all time. Well, shit. I think that and Raiders are my favorite movies of all time right now. That's why they're in the title. I don't know what took me so long to come to this realization. Back to the Future has always been in the top 10. I've always said, oh yeah, Back to the Future is in the top 10. But there's something about how often I've rewatched it lately and just thinking about how fun it is that Back to the Future is taking the title for me. Here's Chris's bracket. Back to the Future is taking the title for me. Raiders and Back to the Future, both in the 80s. I'm an 80s kid at heart, I think. So precious. Because that was riveting and 1.21 gigawatts. Great, Scott. My turn. Good work, everybody. Roads. Where we're going, we All don't right, need. He's just on roads. A, he's on a loop. He's All like right. Woody. Okay. Pull a string and it just. Here we go. Phrase. Don't look down. Uh, I won't. You guys thought that was hard. Holy shit! All right, here we go. Cam, you've got sixteen and sixteen. You ready? Hit me with it. Our first matchup: Footloose, twenty eleven. Goddamn. First saw. Ah! <laughs> I want to play a game. Footloose, twenty eleven. I knew that. Because I love Saw, but, like, I just watch Footloose more. Valid. Moving on to the next matchup. You ready? Yeah. Tangled? You like that movie, right? Yeah, I'm wearing a shirt that says Tangled. Okay, so you can't pick against it, then. (laughs) What's it matched up to? The Princess Diaries 2. Well, (laughs) goddamn. That's the best one. I know. That's why I picked it. I know you love it. You know what you have to do, but you don't have the strength to do it. You have to pick Tangled, in my opinion, but I can't tell you what to do. Pressure's this is on. so. <laughs> this is like not even remotely rude. the hardest one. That's so rude, actually. I made yours way harder than you made mine, by the way. Well, I didn't pick your seeds on purpose to make them hard. Like they just ended up that way. I didn't yeah, mine kind of did too, but it's just mine's just like messed. Up. Mine's um, a saw trap. Mine's messed up, people. It's demented. Tangled. Yeah, come on. I was like, what are you doing? Um, to be fair, I love the Princess Diaries too so much. 
This next one's pretty screwed up too <sighs> because they're so vastly different. I'm sweating. Spider Man Across the Spider Verse. Well, shit. Is actually the bottom of this one. So that's okay. Like what? Well, just read me the mm -hmm. Parent Trap. Oh, <laughs> the Parent Trap. Oh, quick answer. Okay. Cause like, I like Across the Spider Verse, but a I need to see part two. Yes. And B, uh, really the only the first ten minutes of Across the Spider Verse are precious to me. No, fair. That's fair. That's honestly valid. That's why it was the higher seed. Parent Trap was. This next one will make you sick to your stomach. Oh, Lord Jesus. Because you're getting rid of a classic. Sleeping Beauty versus Singing in the Rain. How about you kill yourself? How about that? <laughs> How about that? What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm sorry. You had matchups like that too. Don't come at me. It is Sleeping Beauty versus Singing in the Rain. One of these is not even in your letterbox top four. What if I started crying right now? <laughs> I hope you do. That's so funny though because Singing in the Rain used to be my top four. I know. And then I revamped my top four. Yeah, and, and I... I have to give it to Sleeping Beauty. You have I to, you watch think? that movie all the fucking time. Yeah, you do. But this is so rude because I also love watching Singing in the Rain. I know you have a lot of matchups like this. It sucks, right? But one had to go, so you got to go Sleeping Beauty. I'm pissed off. <laughs> this is pissing me off. <laughs> the difference between us is crazy. All right, <laughs> this next one's gonna piss you off. Not a single boy movie. <laughs> boy movie. This has next been one's read gonna out. piss you off. I'm really curious to see what she says. This is fun. It's like I hold all the power. Did you just assault our set with <laughs> your shin? Knee. I hit my okay. knee. The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Uh-huh. Versus Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. How about you <laughs> die in a ditch? Chasm 2. Okay. Can <laughs> no I ask offense. your reasoning? Okay. Yes. I think it's pretty obvious. There's like that multiple is the other best Harry, Potter Harry Potter movies. Potter, yeah. yeah. That is the best <laughs> Harry Potter movie. But like there's lots of Harry Potter movies yeah. and I also really 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 a lot recently have been loving um Order of the Phoenix. Okay, valid. So like if you laid out all what other eight Harry Potter movies in front of me? Yep. I might not even go to Azkaban first right now. I might go to Order of the Phoenix first. You know what I mean? Mhm. Mm and I also am a big fan of the first two Harry Potter movies. I feel like a lot of people don't like those as much, but I love the first two Harry Potter movies. Like I'd be okay. I'd be okay. You live? Okay. Yeah. This next one might make you even... I, 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 They're all going to make me sick. Yeah. We know. This is a musical battle. Oh, god damn. La La Land versus uh -huh. West Side Story 2021. West Side Story 2021. Whoa. You love that movie, don't you? I fucking love yeah. that movie. Because here's the thing. I love La La Land for the movie that it is. I love Emma Stone. Emma Stone's my favorite actress of all time. Um, I love, you know. La La Land is just a beautiful fucking movie. It is. West Side Story 2021, though... There are times where I'm listening to that soundtrack where I just think about that movie and I either get goosebumps or I start to almost cry because it's not just the movie that I love. I love, I love the original West Side Story, obviously, but it's not just like the movie as a whole. It's like I, I can just think about the choreography from West Side Story and start to tear up a little bit. And like sometimes I just put on the dance at the gym just to watch the one shot because it's just so good. And Rachel Zegler, you will always be famous to me. I love you so much. Okay. Gotta be West Side. I'm so sorry. No, it's totally okay. We both did La Land dirty in our La Land, I'm so sorry. And I love La Land down bad. I do. But the thing is, is that I also don't like rewatching La Land all that much because it makes me so sad. Yeah. It makes me cry really yeah. bad. So it's not one that I often revisit. I'm actually avoiding. I'm in an Emma Stone filmography watch right now, like watching through her whole filmography, whether I've seen it or I haven't. And I'm, I'm, actively avoiding getting to Tasm 2 and La La Land. Well, speak of the devil because the next matchup has Emma Stone in it. Oh, God damn. Easy A yeah. versus yeah. Center Stage. <laughs> She's walking off the set, ladies and gentlemen. That's childhood That's right there, isn't it? fucked up! What the <laughs> wrong with you? I had no choice. Oh, my God! I will do what I must. Oh, my God! You will try. This is a no-brainer for me, but it's not my bracket. For reference, what's the song that's in Napoleon Dynamite called? What's the song? Um, It's called... Oh, yeah. It... You don't know that Boogie is for yes. real. Yes. That song <laughs> that probably anybody in the world hears and thinks of Napoleon Dynamite, I hear, and I'm thinking of Center Stage. Center Stage is a 2000 movie I gotta about I got the dance. name of the song. It's weird. Probably Boogie. No, it's it's some weird title. Hold on. Keep going. Probably just like Dance. Dance. No, it has some weird-ass thing in it. 
gonna dance. Anyways, center stage. Canned heat. I knew it. Mm, yeah. Canned Can heat in my heels, heels tonight. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> um, center stage is like the pinnacle of dance movies. Because it's not just dance. It's ballet. Mind you. I've been watching center stage ever since I was a wee little lad. There's like a low-key sex scene in the movie. And my mom had to always skip over it. Just like she does in the Titanic when I was young. And like, it's not even really sex. They just like uh-huh. insinuate it, whatever. Yeah. Um, What was the match up against? Easy A. Goddamn. But I watch Easy A so often. The pressure's on. I'm going to throw up. Please do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you to That's, throw up. I can't, I'll pay you to throw up. No, can I come back? cannot come back god damn do you see how red my face is yeah you're like i'm getting flustered <laughs> oh my god tonight tonight please pick Shh, a move you're distracting me please is it that difficult i'm gonna i'm gonna Go center stage. Okay. Because here's the thing. Easy A is like one of my favorite rom-coms ever. And Emma Stone, like we have said, is my favorite actress. But there's so many Emma Stone movies. Like this is the third one on the list, obviously. Yeah. Great there's tid. more as well. So. See? So I'll be okay. <laughs> You'll be okay. How about this next one to end out this side of the bracket? You ready? Yeah. The Social Network. Okay. Anastasia. Social Network. Yeah, that was too easy. But I do love Anastasia. So... Anastasia versus anything else probably would have been more hard. Weirdly enough, Christopher Lloyd is in that movie. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this is where things are going to get I can't real see it from our so you don't have to cover it with your hands. Okay. Pitch Perfect. Okay. Twilight. <laughs> you have the potential to do something special here. What the me. fuck <laughs> is wrong with you? You just look down at my racket. No, I can't see okay, it for fair. shit. Fair, fair, fair. What is wrong with you? That's not even the worst one on this side, dude. <laughs> yeah. The original Twilight versus the original Pitch well, Perfect. Well, it's funny because I don't even know if the original Pitch Perfect is my favorite of the Pitch Perfect. Shit. I really love Pitch Perfect 3. 3? Three? Yeah. 2. 3. You love 2. You like 3? I love 2 as well. I love, damn... I love all 3 of them. 3 is objectively the worst in my opinion. You can shut the fuck up. Um... <sighs> Let's hear it. And Twilight is mm, arguably the best Twilight movie. Okay. Mm. You're not hurting anyone's feelings. It's your bracket. I'm hurting my feelings. What are you feeling? Death. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to go with Twilight. Wow. That was a 16 beating one. That happened twice. It's a twice. cultural phenomenon. Twilight moving up. Wait, what was the other one? The what was the one versus sixteen that? Didn't that happen in mine or no? Oh, you're right. You're Home right. Home Alone right. beat Whiplash. Yeah, see, and in the same spots yeah, too. Yeah, same exact spot. Just like, honestly, I don't need to watch Pitch Perfect. I could I could quote it for you right you now. You could quote it too. Pitch Perfect and Twilight are actually probably the two movies that I could quote the most. Likely. I just uh. Like you I, love Twilight, and that's okay. I love Twilight. I'm sorry. I spell it wrong ninety percent of the time. I go Twilight. Like I don't. I like. Forget, I put like too many eyes or something in there. Twi, T W I. I know it's just disgusting. Light. It's disgusting. All right. The the title, the way it's spelled. You ready? The next one up. Uh. Uh-huh. Titanic. Okay, so two movies where people die. <laughs> um. Up. Yeah, that was easy. Next, we've got the. Time travel, or how about this? We've got the rom com body swap time travel oh, matchup of 17 oh, again and 13 hell. going on oh, 30. Hell. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say Freaky Friday. No. Um, love 13 going on 30. Really do. Mark Ruffalo, you're such a king. However, I really? watched 17 again far more than so I watched put that down. Other. 17 again. Okay. Been. I love. Uh, Some of Zach Efron's best work. I really love 13 going on 30, though. It's really Love great. 13 going yeah. on 30. This That's next one's movie. particularly gross. Oh, great. Good, good, um, good. You ready? Sure. High School Musical 3. Uh-huh. Catching Fire. 
<laughs> You're, you just broke, didn't you, for a bit? <laughs> Catching fire. Ooh, okay. Is it because you had the other two HSMs? Yeah. And also just like, I would say it is objectively better movie, but the songs from High School Musical 3, fuck, dude. I honestly can't wait to just keep stumping you with these. This is like a really hard part of the bracket. <laughs> this one will be easy for you because you have to pick the, you just have to, but okay, I had ahead. to get one that's on here. The Amazing Spider-Man 1. Okay. Ghostbusters. The original. I can't answer that. <laughs> come on. I don't know if I can answer that. Come on. I know you really like Ghostbusters, but come on. Come on. Tasm. Yeah. I knew I wasn't going to let you say Ghostbusters. Love there. Ghostbusters, though, so much. Ghostbusters, I love you. Now, this next one is particularly twisted and demented. Okay. Ready? Yeah. I'm going to read the bottom one first. Okay, go ahead. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Okay. Ah. You have any guesses for what it's going against? Is it another? Um... No. Nope. Want to just tell you? Go ahead. Captain America, the Winter Soldier. <laughs> ah, this is so fun for me. What the? <laughs> ah! We gotta go Winter Soldier. Okay, that was quick. Just because we have a battle of the Titans had, the next round. No, we had this is a this is a Nazi off in this bracket that we're doing right now. Okay, and I will say the third act of the Sound of Music does drag a little bit. Okay. They're not singing as much. They're more or less running just from Nazis yeah, the whole it's time. Like a thriller. So, <laughs> and we have to get a movie with Bucky in the bracket. We do. Come on. We have a Battle of the Titans next. That's all, all I'm right. saying. Uh, well, like next round. All right, go ahead. Here we go. This is the next one. I don't know if this will be hard for you. It might be Crazy Stupid Love and Step Up 3D. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Step Up 3D. Whoa. That movie is such a good dance film. You don't understand because you haven't seen it. Yeah, that's crazy, though. Oh my god! I That's crazy. Put it on right now. I love Step Up Three. Hell no! I fucking love Step Up Three. This last one could be tough. Okay. Age of Adeline versus Hercules. Oh, that is difficult, honestly, because they're very different. Yeah. Films. This is the last one in the first round. Mm. What you gonna do in it? Age of Adeline is one of my favorite niche movies. Um, Blake Lively is fantastic in it. Um, and I love the concept. It's so fascinating. Makes me cry. Mm. Top four on Letterboxd. Mm-hmm. Hercules, though, is one of my favorite animated movies ever. Mm. It's so funny. You got some pops right there for me. Yeah, I have pretty much every Funko Pop from Hercules. Um, um, I'll go Age of Adeline. Okay. No disrespect to Hercules, though. Hercules is one of my all-time faves. Moving on to the next Stay round. Out here, bro. Are you ready? I'm ready. I don't think you're ready for it. Go ahead. Footloose versus Tangled. That's like, that is really, really challenging. Hmm. Damn. You know? I'm really curious. It's shameful because of the shirt I'm wearing. Mm Mm-hmm. But if I don't pick Tangled, I still have Tangled the series. Okay. So you're going Footloose. I just love that movie. That's totally fine. That's what it's all about. It's a great, it really is a great movie. If a movie has good dancing in it, guys, I'm a sucker. It's just going to get picked simply. Hey, mister, won't you sell me a fake ID? Next, we've got The Parent Trap versus Sleeping Beauty. Man, I have fantastic taste in movies. You have That's some, crazy. You, you, do have, you have some bangers on here that I picked. Um, man, I rewatch those movies both so often. Yeah, you do. Both fantastic soundtracks. If I do, banger. Uh, one of them has a banger. All right, you don't understand, nor do you respect Sleeping Beauty, and it's downright there offensive. There she goes. God, Parent Trap has such a good soundtrack. But I love Sleeping Beauty. So, what's it to you? What's gonna be? Sleeping Beauty. Okay. Sleeping Beauty. It that is. was just like uh, that movie like could fix anything when I was a child. Valid. You know? Yeah. That's my Lion King. That's fair. This next one is the Amazing Spider-Man Two versus West Side Story. Oh my gosh. I love how all of my favorite movies involve people dying, <laughs> like um, tragic deaths, and then there's center stage. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
I think I know what you're going to pick. How? I don't even know what I'm going to okay. pick. Okay, let's lay them out. <sighs> Tasm 2. Now, people can love or hate the Tasm movies. I don't give a fuck what you think. I love all the Tasm movies. Um, But the main reason I love Tasm 2 is because I love Gwen Stacy. Stay with me. Stay with me. I, what if you... <laughs> how about you shut the fuck up? <laughs> Sorry, I had and to. And I love Andrew Garfield, and I love him as Spider-Man so much. Yes. West Side Story... One of my favorite musicals of all time. Insane that Steven Spielberg was able to outdo the first movie, in my humble opinion. Um, unfortunately, it does have Ansel Elgort in it, but I can't overlook that due to the Rachel Zegler and Mike Feist of it all. Mm. And the Ariana DeBose of it all. Mm. Um, the Jets are gonna have their day tonight. I feel like when it comes to Tavern 2, I have to be in a specific mood to watch it. So it's West Side? Yeah, we'll go west side. West side. Okay. The That's last one, pick, I'm going to go ahead and write in the social network. It's versing center stage. Is that correct or no? Yeah. Makes me so sad, though, because I love center stage. Uh. And that's that. Moving on to the other side of the bracket. Twilight is going up against Up. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> up is very much like... Tasm 2 for me. I gotta be in a yeah. specific mood to watch it. Okay. Up makes me sob violently. So what are you going with, Twilight? No, I haven't picked yet. I'm thinking. This is hard. Um. Because, okay, I have to be... I have to be in a specific mood for Up. Like, because Up makes me cry really bad. I don't necessarily have to be in a specific mood for Twilight. I can put Twilight on at any point in time in my life and watch it and have a good time. But there are other Twilight movies. Up is my favorite Pixar movie of all time. <laughs> Up. Hell yeah. Trying to watch the first 10 minutes and cry? No. no. 17 again. Mm -hmm. Catching fire. Mm. Catching fire. Okay. Love Finna Go Dare. Yeah, I do too. It's and uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, rest in peace. Yeah, damn. Great cast. Okay, this is the Battle of the Titans right here. Okay. This is something you're gonna probably have to put on TikTok. This is the Battle of the Comic Book Films: The Amazing Spider-Man versus Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Well, oh, goddamn. <laughs> Battle of the Titans. And when I pick Tasm, what then? <laughs> Now listen, I just rewatched Tasm relatively recently because, like just I said, Tasm? let me finish. Okay. Because I'm in, like I said, my Emma Stone filmography watch, so I just recently watched Tasm. Granted, I watch Tasm relatively often, and I do love The Winter Soldier. It is my favorite Marvel movie, like MCU. I love Bucky Barnes. I'm looking at my Bucky Barnes right now. Hi, Pookie. <laughs> However, <laughs> the feeling that I get, if I'm okay. If I'm looking at the two movies, what really carries the Winter Soldier for me is Bucky Barnes. He's act he doesn't talk all that much in that movie, believe it or not. Contrary to popular belief, they muzzle him. And again, this might be because I just recently rewatched Tasm, so I might have recency bias in terms of what I recently watched. Tasm is way better. Tasm <laughs> people can say whatever they want about Kurt Connors, whatever. I don't care. You're wrong. The score in Tasm alone makes me feel like yes. I could be a superhero. The scene at the end when he webs up the gunshot on his leg and those little things are swinging over. The cranes? Yeah, the cranes are swinging over and everyone's helping him. It really does show the people of New York chipping in to help. That music? Yeah. That scene? is the most spider-man scene ever in my opinion tasm is just such a good movie i'm picking tasm riding tasm in over the winter soldier and i really honestly i'm not really like mad about that at all I, well I you're care. also not that big of a winter soldier stand so i i mean the action's great don't get me wrong yeah but the movie's wildly overhyped by people to me yeah civil war better but anyway next we got step up 3d and adeline eight of adeline sorry 
<sighs> I watched Step Up 3D more. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Age of Adeline, yes. In okay. my top four on Letterboxd. Okay. My top four on Letterboxd, though, isn't my top four based on what I rewatched the most. That's exactly fair. So you're going to Step Up 3D? Is that what that means or no? Or I it's... might just. I watched Do Step it. Up, I just watched Step Up 3D so much. I'm not going to put any of the Step Up movies in my top four on Letterboxd because I'm not psycho. Step Up 3D it is. Ready? I do want to say, though, I absolutely, absolutely adore Age of Adeline. If you've never watched it, please go watch it. It's, it's really, really, it's really, really a fantastic movie. It's a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're in the Elite Eight. Footloose 2011. Sleeping Beauty. The pressure's on. Hmm. Miles Teller versus Prince Philip. <laughs> <laughs> country um, line dancing versus I don't know I know <laughs> I love Sleeping Beauty so much for so many reasons I grew up a ballerina so like Tchaikovsky that's my home dog you know what I mean I feel that's you. my homie for life Tchaikovsky um, classical music soothes me and I love the story of Sleeping Beauty I love Princess Aurora. I think Philip is one of the better Disney princes, honestly. He's very underrated. Mm -hmm. And I also think the animation of Sleeping Beauty is some of the most beautiful animation in the early on Disney films. Genuinely. Okay. Okay. I know a lot of people are probably sitting there being like, why the fuck is Sleeping Beauty in the final, in the Elite (laughs) Eight? People don't get Sleeping Beauty like I do. A lot of people maybe saw it once when they were like 10 and they're like, oh, doesn't she just sleep the whole time? No. She's asleep for like six minutes. Okay. And Phil does 2011. Has some fantastic dancing in it. It's just so good. I don't. I'm really struggling here. Someone put the gun to your head right now. Pick a movie. I'm leaning towards Sleeping Beauty. Okay. You want me to put it down? Go ahead. <laughs> I know you adore that movie. You watch it like all the time. <laughs> but you also watch Footloose all the time. <gasps> I know I do. Sleeping Beauty's headed to the final four, ladies and gentlemen. Proud of her. Might be hard to take down, or is it? We've got West Side Story 2021 versus The Social Network. The Social Network. Oh my goodness, that was a quick answer. Like, I just... <laughs> well, first of all, movie. West Side Story is also long as shit. It I'll is just say that. very long. West Side Story made it that far because, like, obviously I love it, but also I can easily look up shots from that movie and watch them and what not but like correct the moon though social network is a movie that if it's going if it's getting put on it's getting put on oh it's going you're going the you're whole two sad. hours you're not just watching little no, bits here and there no no shot you're not just fast forwarding to see when mike feist is on screen next no sir yeah fair you're watching the whole goddamn movie that is correct so social network moving to the other side of the bracket elite eight we've got up versus the hunger games catching fire oh. this is your personal favorite oh <laughs> I might have to go catching fire. Do it. You want me to write it in? Yeah. Up makes me cry. And I love Up. And oh, by the way, all of this is literally just based on how I, my mood is right now. Yeah. <laughs> and, and mine, by the way. It's not something we are bound um, to for yeah. eternity. Catching <laughs> fire is like probably my favorite of the Hunger Games. Ever since becoming bestie booze with Jenna. Shout out Jenna. Um, I've grown a new love and appreciation for the Mockingjay movies. Uh, but... Catching Fire has always been a favorite. It's like the first one, but with Finnick O'Dare. So. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, what's it going to be facing off against the final four? The Amazing Spider-Man or Step Up 3D? Oh, my two favorite New York movies! <laughs> Ooh. Uh! <laughs> Chasm. Okay. We have the potential for something great here that I'll I want. In a second. Can we watch? Can we watch your movie soon so we can watch Step Up 3D soon? Maybe. I fucking... Okay, if anybody watching this podcast watches any of the Step Up movies, comment down below which one's your favorite because so, oh, Step Up 3 is just so good. Mm. But yeah, Tasm. Tasm's probably my favorite. I would say Tasm is my favorite superhero movie. That's very, ra- very respectable in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, we're in the final four. Four All movies right. remain. On the left side, we've got Sleeping Beauty versus The Social Network. Okay. You have to pick one. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the end of the sentence. <laughs> you were like, okay, what's next? 
This is two movies. They're facing off against each other. What's what you picking? Okay. 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 Oh, 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 okay. I think I have to go social network. Okay, I'm writing it in. Just because Sleeping Beauty is like a movie I fall asleep to. Like, on purpose. Like, not like, oh, it's so boring, I fall asleep. Like, I'll put it on if I want, uh, like, so- some sound when I'm going to bed. Sleeping Beauty is a beautiful aesthetic film. Mm. I love the animation. Mm-hmm. I love everything about it. I love the storyline. I wanted it to get a better live action adaptation. For some reason, they decided to adapt the villain. <laughs> yeah. Don't ask me. I don't know why. It's disrespected as a film for some reason. Um, Aurora is my baby girl. Philip is my baby boy. The social network will always enthrall me, though. You know what I mean? Like, if it's on, I'm no, on. Yeah, no matter what mood you're in, it's like, you can just get so invested. Yeah, <laughs> it's the got social the network score, is like, the uh, mo- like a movie that I can put on. It's... I could watch that movie every I day. Could and watch I it right don't now. think I'd ever get sick of it. <laughs> As could I. The other side of the Final Four. All right, give it to me. I'm trying to almost talk like Caesar Flickerman now. <laughs> <laughs> the Hunger Games Catching Fire. Okay. Versus. Okay. The Amazing Spider-Man. The Amazing Spider-Man. Okay. That's what I thought was going to happen. We've got a battle of Andrew Garfield in the final. Oh, we do! That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it because I didn't want it to influence you, but and we've got anybody Andrew ever Garfield thinks, versus Andrew Garfield. If anybody ever thinks that they can top me for being number one on Andrew Garfield's stand, you are wrong. All right. So we've got Andrew Garfield and Jesse Eisenberg and Army Hammer and... <laughs> Uh, Dakota Johnson and Justin Timberlake versus Andrew Garfield, Emma Stone. I forgot Brenda Song. Oh yeah, she's in that too. Um, and who else? Dennis Leary, um, Rise Iphens. Mm-hmm. What do you What are you thinking here? You thinking Tasm or The Social Network? This is for your favorite movie I'm on this bracket. I'm getting sick. I'm close to vomiting. We really have my favorite movie and my favorite superhero movie. Mm-hmm. Both incredible scores, honestly. Mm, mm-hmm. Like love them both. Very I think much. the music. Andrew Garfield has the best Spider-Man score. No offense to Toby or they Tom. all have elite. Like they're all great for different reasons. Even the across yeah, and into. But I give it to Tasm for score. Like in terms of the Spider-Man. James Horner's is awesome. Um, the Tasm one. But you know, obviously, the score for Social Network is fantastic. We just watched. Um, challengers last mm-hmm. night trent reznor atticus ross eight and when we were watching the movie the score was playing and i'm like this sounds so much like the social network in a sense of like i would want to play it while i'm working and it would make me work 10 times faster yes like it's just like that bouncy sort of yeah music that i get yeah. from the social network yeah. and then the movie ended and chris is like oh my god that was the guy that did the score yeah, the social network the and i was like oh, i know it <laughs> um andrew garfield fantastic in both Mm. Mhm. Mhm. She's uh going through the edits in her head right now. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um now I feel like I might need to preface this by saying Gwen Stacy is like my favorite fictional character of all time. Which is why actually Tasm beat out Winter Soldier without me even thinking about it like Bucky Barnes is my favorite MCU ca- character. Um, but what are you doing? Just check the, okay. I like to check the audio levels. Um, <laughs> but Gwen Stacy is my favorite fictional character of all time. All iterations of her, Emma Stone, Spider Gwen, all yeah. of them. Yeah, yeah, That being said, that'll fuck up the audio. Don't do that. Um, you don't have to do that either. You do not have to overcorrect. The that people are waiting said, for your answer. You were distracting I'm, me by doing this. Here we go, shits. here we go, here we go. You ready? Do you know it in your head? Mm-hmm. Drum roll, please. The Social Network. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Yeah. I'm writing it in. That's okay. I love that movie. Just because if there's anything that Tasm could really lack in, I'd say, even though I don't think it, I would say the one thing it like maybe is not a 100 out of 100 on is maybe the villain yeah and i would say justin timberlake is a very good villain in the social <laughs> network yeah, mark's almost the villain in the movie too they're all the villain yeah 
except for Eduardo. <laughs> wow. And it, honestly, if you had to have a quote off, I think you could quote the social network a bit more, even though you can quote Tasm a lot. Oh, yeah. I think that that is like a key. Can you quote a movie really well? And if you can, it's easily one of your favorites. It's so funny. My bracket ended up being a battle of Andrew Garfield, and your bracket ended up being a battle of the 80s. Yeah. So I think we've just, we've figured out what our <laughs> what our interest in films that are. That is correct. Yeah. That was Spielberg's difficult. involved in both of mine. He produced the B- BTTF trilogy, and he directed Raiders. That, that was, was fun, though, was it me. not? That was so hard. That was a challenge for you, for sure. It was for me as well, but for you, our I feel take like it was more... Our taste in movies is so different. That's so it's funny. It's pretty... Yeah. But I would, it's what makes us unusual, for those who ask. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Man, that was a fun time. That was damn fun. We'll have to do another one. We really will. Wow. And look at our, we both have That was like an hour 15-ish. Back to the Future versus the Social Network. What wins that? Social Network. Ooh, I don't know. I go back to. I don't know. They're, go, they're both so Gotta good. Gotta go back in time. They're both so good. That's the power of love. Um, yeah. Great work. That was fun. Yeah. That's, that, we're, that was a great app to return on. I feel like we saved our energy for this one. <laughs> Um, Let us know if you guys liked us doing brackets because we can do brackets with so many things. We've realized so many things after doing this, All the like fandoms. characters, fandom, so much shit. real life things. Yeah, so you much know? shit. So let us know if you liked this, and we'll do it again. Um, I think that does it for this episode, though. I think so too. Hit that like button if you guys are watching the video version. Leave us a nice review if you're watching on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. We're inching towards 2K subscribers. It'd be really cool if you guys could help us get there. Yeah. If you want to watch us watch Stranger Things or other movies and shows, you can do so on my Patreon. We have our yeah. tracks for the first two seasons as well as the first four or five episodes of season three. As of you guys are watching this, mm-hmm. so there's a lot to look forward to over there, and it's a great way to help support both of us as we continue this content creation journey Mm -hmm. and let us know for real we'll take it into consideration how do you prefer the podcast handheld up close mic stand further back i want to know we value your opinion yeah i prefer this i'm just going to come right out and say it after doing it this way i had way more fun but that's just me (laughs) that's just me that's fine regardless we love you guys thank you and as always stay unusual (laughs) 